Hey residents, welcome back. MJ here. Today, I'm going to be going over a HELOC and how to use that money to invest in real estate. What if I told you you did not have to spend any kind of money out of your own bank account to invest in real estate? Sounds like a mid-afternoon infomercial, doesn't it? Just real quick before we get started though, I'd like to thank you for clicking on the video and checking it out. I hope this information really does help you. If you do find it useful, make sure you give the video a thumbs up as it does help out other people just like you discover this information by triggering the YouTube algorithm. And while you're at it, if you do want to see more content like this and video home tours, make sure you subscribe to the channel and smash that bell notification so you're notified as soon as I upload a new video. That said, let's go ahead and just get started. First thing we need to understand is what is equity? Well, to best understand this, let me put it in an example. Let's say we owe the bank $250,000 on our mortgage. But as you all know, through the last year and through COVID, the housing prices have really gone up in value. So you held onto your house, you've been making your payments diligently on time, great job. Let's say the house is now worth $400,000. That means that you have $150,000 of equity. Basically, you take the value of the home, minus the amount that you owe the bank. So 150,000 in that case. Now you're probably asking yourself, well, what good does that do me? It's in my house, I don't have the cash. What can I do? Traditionally speaking, you would have to sell your home to get this money out. So to do this, you would have to hire a realtor, you'd have to pay those dues, you'd have to pay closing costs, you'd have to find another place to live, not to mention paying movers and all the other expenses that come along with it. Let's just say, for the sake of the example, that would cost you 10% of the home between all the fees and the moving and all that other good stuff. So in our example, that would mean that would be $40,000 if you sold the home at $400,000. That would leave $360,000 and then you have to pay off the mortgage as well. So that would be 250,000 out of that, leaving $110,000 of usable income. That's if you don't have to pay any taxes on that amount. But that's a whole nother topic for a different video. So what if I told you that you could access this money without selling your home? Enter HELOC, also known as Home Equity Line of Credit. So what is a HELOC? Well, a HELOC, basically think of it like a giant credit card that is a second mortgage on your home. You have access to this giant credit line and you're only paying on it when you're using it. And even though I'm comparing it to a credit card, the interest rate is much lower. Oftentimes, especially right now, you can find them lower than 5%. So how much can I get on a HELOC loan? The amount that you get is variable from bank to bank, but you can get up to 90%. Now in our example, the house that we sold was $400,000. 90% of $400,000 is $360,000. Then you have to take off the amount of the mortgage, which is $250,000, leaving $110,000. $110,000 to invest in other property is gonna be huge for you and your family. As you all know, equity equals wealth. So here we are, we're using this wealth to build more wealth. And the best part about it is, you don't have to sell your property. You're gonna keep it, the market's gonna keep going up, meaning your equity is just going to grow. So what can you do with this money? Well, you could use it as a down payment to purchase a second property for investment purposes. You could use it as a down payment for an apartment complex. What if you used it to purchase an investment property, flip it and then sell it and then pay that off, giving you more wealth and moving on to the next one. The possibilities are pretty endless here of what you can do with this money as long as you use it to your power and you're growing your wealth. One thing you could do is flip the property, purchase the property and then move on to the next one. You can use it as a chain reaction. This is a very powerful tool. That's why it's considered creative investing. This isn't a normal traditional way of doing business. But anyway, that about wraps it up for this video. I truly hope this information helps you out a lot in investing, and I hope you can really grow some wealth out of this information. And if you did find this content useful, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. It does help out the YouTube algorithm to trigger so more people just like you can discover this content. And while you're at it, go ahead and smash that subscribe button too. Come along for the journey, grow our wealth together, and tour some houses to boot. But anyway, I really appreciate you guys stopping by and checking out this video all the way to the end. Make sure you check out this video right here next, where we talk about getting that perfect 800 credit score. What are you still doing here? Get over there and check out that video right now. We'll see you guys later.